Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video we are going to see how to exclude products based on product title and variant title. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. We have another video with a detailed overview on rules as follows. Exclusion based on product price and inventory quantity. We recommend you going through them as well for a better understanding of automated rules applied on different attributes. The links will be in the description below. Let's see an example of automated product exclusion based on product title. There are many merchants who have requested us to add features for exclusion of products from feed based on product title. If the product title contains or starts with any particular keyword or phrase, for example product title contains sample or used etc. So let's see an example for this case. Here we are using the SEO title option for submitting product titles in the feed. You will be able to access this feature from our automated rules for feed page of our app. Please hover over the settings menu and click on the automated rules for feed option from the drop-down menu. Let's add an automated rule to exclude products which do not contain newline fashion phrase within the product title. So we will be choosing product title from the first drop-down, then does not contain as an operator from the second drop-down, and finally we are adding newline fashion in the value field. For excluded destination, we will choose all the destination options except XML feed. After saving the rule as draft and applying it, our app will submit the updated feed to respective marketing platforms. As we can see here, the first five products are still showing submitted status as they contain newline fashion in their respective product titles. While the rest of all the other products which do not contain newline fashion in their titles are excluded using automated rules. Let's see how our app will process the product if we are changing the SEO title for women's high heel boots in the Shopify store. Click on Edit Product button on the Product Details page within our app for opening a product directly in the Shopify store. Please scroll down at the bottom of the page, you find the Search Engine Listing Preview section, where we are able to edit SEO details by clicking on the Edit Website SEO link. Here we will change the page title which is known as SEO title for the product and append new line fashion to the title and save the changes. Within a few minutes, a new SEO title will be fetched from the Shopify store which now contains the new line fashion phrase. So as per our automated rule, this product is also now eligible to get submitted in the feed for all the marketing platforms. We can check products in the Google Merchant Center by clicking on the link Google Merchant Center in the Variants section of the Product Details page within our app. As we can see here the product exists within the Google Merchant Center as of now. Please note, it may take about an hour for the changes to get reflected in Google Merchant Center after applying any automated rule. Now let's see how to discard the changes saved to draft for current automated rules without affecting the currently submitted feed. Here we are only modifying the current rule. So we will just remove the Bing Shopping and Facebook catalog from the set to excluded destination and save the changes to draft. So now we can see that there are two boxes for the rules. Here the first one is for the current rule which has been already applied and the second one is the draft rule which we have just saved after modifying the existing rule. Now, let's say if the requirement changes and we need to continue with the already applied rule, we can simply discard the draft. To delete the draft rule, we just need to click on the discard draft button, and the system prompts for the confirmation to proceed further with the removal of the draft. So we just need to click on the yes, discard button. Once it is done the success message is shown, and now we see that the draft rule is deleted from the automated rules from the feed section. As we can see, all the products are indicating submitted or excluded status and not showing them as pending, that means they are not being reprocessed after the draft has been discarded. Exclude product variants based on variant title. 
We have received many requests for excluding a certain variant of a product to prevent the submission of that particular variant in the feed to specific marketing platforms or specific destinations. Let's take a look at how this can be achieved with the help of automated rules within our app. In our demo store, we are selling apparel products which are mostly available in different product sizes and colors. So we will create an automated rule to submit only small, medium and large sizes and exclude the rest of the sizes from the feed. In this case, a rule based on variant title comes in handy. So we are selecting variant title from first dropdown and contains any of as an operator for this condition and then we will add all the possible sizes in the value field which needs to be excluded. While using operator with any of condition, please make sure to add one value per line in the value field. For this case, we will add XS, XL, 2XL, and 3XL sizes in the value field. We will exclude these variants from all the destination of Google except the free listings, hence we are choosing Google Shopping, Google Display Ads, and Google Shopping Actions options from the set to excluded destinations. After applying this automated rule, we can see the products under pending status for Google Shopping and Google Shopping Actions. The new feed is now submitted to Google, so let's check two products from the apparel category one by one. The first product is white women's dress, and the second one is a men's leather jacket. For men's jacket, there are total six size variants from small to 3XL, so as per our applied rule, XL to 3XL variants must have been already excluded from the Google Shopping, Google Display Ads and Google Shopping Actions. So let's click on the direct link for viewing the XL size variant in the Google Merchant Center. As we can see here the product is only showing active status for free listings destination only. If we check final attributes for this product, buy on Google listings, shopping ads and display ads are shown under excluded destination attribute. For this, women's party dress. There are four size variants from XS to large. Upon checking the status for XS size variant in the Google Merchant Center, it shows active status only for free listings destinations. Whereas buy on Google listings, shopping ads, and display ads destinations are excluded. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing.